Inside Story Uganda. Real source of politics. Aliyeyo wabado ebitambula binji nyo 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 Eda tugenda kuba tuvitunuli da tulabe chibuga cha fe kampala Ebitundu ebienja ulo budgets vama ze okuzite bolinga Chichi uh, echiri ndiri dua Tulabe budget sezo zinatambula zitia mumbere yo Bo ababaka haba parliament abenja ulo E bagenda dala maso no kubeda angate Waliwente kateka ziba koleda dala mubitundu bia yabwe ebye njawulo ekizibu eche miwendo je bintu cheyongereddeyo dalanga tetulaba yobo lyao e kigenda kukolebwa cha nkomeredde ku miwendo eje bintu ne atenno ye mutabani wa yowana mirundi ne mmole uh, na matovu wali waneno uh, mutabani wa yowana mirundi oliyotia tukubekana Eh, one number will know over the fake interview day. I can't fight. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. So can take it away. Uh, we cut and the kid of Kuvanga, Saga to the new Nobuntu, Oboli Fake, Natonda Z, we cut and the kid, AM Tabanuayana Mirundi, E. Nemama Mori, E. Namato Vutua, Bagam, 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 Technology Watch, Bagam Bumuhozi, uh huh, Bumuhozi, a very coding and a bump. Mohozi, such are you, but Anti Bagam, a rolly mu project. Anti Baganti Mohose. Kayakat Mumbere Bagamba Antino. With your Nana Mani Joga Janet Technology of your Nabiana will be Jawa Mohose. It ever gains a way. Take a go out to socket, take a call. Bagazi, Bagazi, who we. assistant and a few yes other people something I believe it was autocratic nobody knows why and how it came to be but we are looking at the results of the meeting but we cannot determine what exactly happened there so that is a bigger question now the smaller question but yet the most important one is when they went in there what 
transpired between the two people. That is Kagame facing off with the Mughals. What exactly must have taken place? It is a very fundamental question. Because, you know, in the world of conspiracy, when you look at all these coups that have been happening, from the Damboya, come to Burkina Faso, get to um, Mali, when you look at the whole scenario, it is the same family members. The first family members are the ones divided and causing all this mayhem in those countries. They are the ones are sapping their elders. They are the ones are sapping their masters. So that is what we are looking at. Who exactly knew what took place when this man went there? In a room of two by two, for two in a two, one on one, on the camera, what exactly happened there? Who can answer that? Not even the president himself. So it is a very big question. No, you see, as a family, we had to organize ourselves to go and uh, have a one-on-one -on -one for the best reason that we needed uh, to rush and uh, put some things together. Now, if we are to judge exactly what happened, I believe it is a very big thing. And it was a one-on-one, one-on-one um, one -on -one clearing each other's mind. Of I don't believe that there was any direct contact, that possibly uh, while the son was there, that the father was also online in the discussion. I don't believe in that. But we saw very drastic changes happening, and uh, up to now we are questioning ourselves what exactly happened. It is a very important thing we need to look at. So, these are the challenges we still have as people. Hmm? So I had to bring you out here so that we can have this talk of freedom. You know, those people in there, we have a challenge of selling information. Somebody can record you and take this information. It ends up on the social media and our voices can be identified. So, all in all, what I really want to know is what exactly must have taken place is what we see. Possibly there was a bigger exchange because immediately after the man returning, we see Kandeho being exited. Kurasakur hmm? being exited. And there are so many other people. And there are a lot of internal changes which are really happening. So who exactly can digest exactly what took place? if it is not under score or under statements being made at this moment. And it is a threat to the power that be. It is a threat to the entire establishment of the NRM. So this is my mind. You see, I believe there are certain things that have been happening. And uh, it doesn't stop with you, but it is a concern of everyone. Firstly, well, you realize that he, uh, when this man was there, I mean, uh, when all the process was okay, there were certain people make it more thorough. But at this moment, the challenge is growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. What I really need to know is how exactly are we going to overcome this situation? If we don't rise up together, then some of us have to be left behind. And this is one of the things I was talking with. Uh, when I was uh, speaking to mom, I told her that uh, when you look at everything, even actually my, my sisters in Iraq, I was telling them that uh, you see it is very dangerous. Don't you think there can be a possibility of my brother in Iraq taking over? And uh, we end up running into Reorganize yourself. Review all the instances that have happened before the time before. Then uh, you streamline your, your projection in terms of programs and activities that we are in. From there, uh, I believe. There are certain observations we we have to consider. Currently, when you look at the case ongoing, uh, you realize that many people are coming on course. And on that course of getting trouble, getting uh, injured, and uh, 
currently what is the situation. It has a lot of demands that we really need to put together. The efforts are the fix. I cannot tell you that the Akilari is to certain things that have not happened yet, but I'm very certainly sure that uh, incidentally we have situations ongoing. As a person, when you look at the media frenzy and look at what Amarimiron is doing, it is uh, quite cumbersome, troublesome, and of course denting of our names, image, legacy, and all that. The solution should not be sought from Mr. Tamari. No. I believe if we take a check through these media personalities, presenters, moderators, and all of that, I believe we can do something stronger. Except for one channel, which is an online YouTube channel. But uh, my research team was telling me that uh, Peter is a kind of Peter. He's a person you can discuss with. I told him to eliminate most of those recordings that are really proving to be troublesome. And I believe that can be done. So, looking at uh, how things are happening in this country, then the internal affairs uh, to call it uh, the, the, the private internal affairs, then as a group, as a foreign fellowship, there are certain things we need to be doing and uh, reviewing. As you're listening to me right now, there are certain things that have been happening. Though we've not been uh, meeting quite often to, to, to share the things I'm, uh, I'm very sure you should know that are really taking place. And somebody is expanding the space to accommodate all of us in this trouble of uh, the organic trade, which I believe can be undone if we allow or accept to work in groups, to work intelligently and diligently. Now, uh, for, for the people we shared with, uh, some of the information that has been coming in, you must be fully aware that uh, every time the case advances, it engulfs more people into this problem. Secondly, I have belief that the court or the prosecutor hasn't fully corrected all the necessary evidences to strictly pin down the other one. But much of it is hearsay. And uh, even when, as we most of us believe that uh, the Mare submitted some recordings, they are also subjected to, to, to thorough verification process. And the, the recording method has to be reviewed to the prosecutor. And as well, the prosecutor should also be notified of how it will happen, which I personally believe that Marimiru cannot do. So, much as the trouble is apparent, there are still so many scapegoats, scapegoats, and the advantages we still can take care, can take a chance with. So, that is what I would hope to digest into our mind and we come up with a fruitful discussion. I thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, that is very good, very good. Currently, there are certain people who have been trying to help us from different countries, some of whom are business partners, some are just friends, and others are sympathizers. Some of them are in the business, and this is a very good business. So, we have been tormented psychologically. 
by the fact that the media has tried so much to press this. And because of the internal job, look at our colleague, who is now facing a lot of trouble. And those trouble are rooted from the fact that we have people who have started the black market operations, but they don't want to deal with the, the, the main core. We are looking at enacting a law that can really help every one of us. But the whole problem here is we still have black market operations. Some of the doctors are doing a black market operation where they go remove the kidneys from the people and at the end of the day they find challenges discarding the, the, the courses. Look at these boys who are covered in the septic tanks. Because now it is the mantra, it is the chant. Everybody is looking for that get to rich week or skill and operation. And the reality is profiting because there is a very, very great need. See how would the people want to get a loan? Trying all types of matches so that he gets a kitten. At the end of the day, he's gone. Cool. How many people have been killed in that land? How many people have been extracted from Dubai, from the United Arab Emirates, and have been taken elsewhere? So that is where the major problem comes from. So we need to clean up this business. If we clean it up, there is no need to get worried with the Tamil and whatever it's doing. So the moment we get all of this moving, we can overcome the situation. Yes, I think that is a very good point. Exactly. This is what I've been telling everyone. That no matter what you want to go through, to go through first and foremost, look at how clean you get out of a transaction. If you live with that hands, it is going to follow you up. And the karma is a bitch, it's going to catch up with you. So that is that, that is where major challenges have been rooted from. And this is why the court process is ongoing. But I told you earlier on, we have hospitals that can do that, but the very many people choose to do dark operations and they end up killing the people and then discarding the corpses because you still have to write, take off the evidences. Previously, banning the bodies built to recognition was the mantra, but it no longer works. It doesn't work still. For instance, or through autopsy, you can find out exactly what killed the person. So then we have to go deep down the road to reorganize the sector, legalize the business, and then we have clearly known registered agency, uh, uh, agents who even pay taxes. We also start a, don a donation scheme and to catch up because if every person can reap between 700,000 to 1 million US dollars, that is good money. That is good money. So instead of doing it illegally, because most of these people doing it illegally, kittens, they get something like 200,000 US dollars. But the other cost is paying the agents that get involved, secondary disposing of the cost. So that is where the whole problem comes from. So we need to address these things like intellectuals. Like serious people, we shall not be giving room to people like Tamari to find a ground to destroy us. It is really very important. So this is what a new chapter should, should look like. We can never overcome this case that is ongoing in egg that gets trashed and rubbished. And indeed, that is what we are racing towards. Nobody's going to get on the plane to do that, no. This is a global business. We practiced in China, Taiwan, Bangkok. So, what the hell do they want that we cannot afford? We can afford to reorganize the country, reorganize the sector, and to all that. I don't want to be involved in, those, in the politics. Which politics has really destroyed me? There is bigger money. There is bigger money. I know everything is getting stuck.
stale, but we, we can reactivate it. We can refranchise it. We can, I mean, make it good business again. So that is what I'm looking at. So let us reorganize ourselves and do something pretty good and allow it. So if you want to win, you have always decided to be good agents in this and that. Then you end up killing your own relatives just because you need some money. Then at the end of the day, you dispose them of in a septic tank. The only option is he has to run because that is the information reaching me that has been doing such a thing. Because of real, I've been looking at the schemers who have been trying to destroy this business, killing people deliberately. And the vice is just on the increase. The next victims are going to be the prostitutes. The prostitutes. So because there is a growing cartel that is supposed to run this dark operation. And we should not allow it. We should locate it because all we need to do so we don't get red flagged by the United Nations. So I hope I'm very 